So hello, my name's Ollie O'Toole and these are 10 things that I cannot live without. To begin this list of 10 very essential things in my life, the first thing is this, and this is my UD. And if you don't know what an UD is, it's basically just like a big jumper blanket thing. So it's like a hoodie, but it's literally a blanket. Like it is the thickest thing in the world. I can't live about this because growing up, I was always in blankets. I was always wrapped in a blanket. I always wanted to be cozy on a sofa watching a film. Like I, as much as I love the outdoors, I'm a very cozy human being. Like my grandpa always calls me the caterpillar man because I'm literally always wrapped up in a blanket, like in a cocoon. Before I had a new day, I was just always wrapped in blankets. But then I got the UD and literally I live in it. Like I go to the cinema in this, I go to the shops in this. Like I will be living in my house just in a new day and it's just like a warm hug always and I love it. This is a big fat thing that I can live without. It's just so cozy. Okay, the second thing that I simply cannot live without is tea. I feel like this is such a British staple to have like your tea in one of these thingy majigs. Mm, tea bags. I love the smell of tea bags. Tea. Something about tea. Again, with like blankets, has always been like a comfort staple thing for me in my life growing up. Like, I think I must get it from my mum or my grandma. I'm not too sure, but like, my mum's always drank tea, my grandma's always drank tea. When I have a cup of tea, there's no problem in the world. If I'm just sat there with a cup of tea, I'm okay. And I think that's what it is. It really helps my anxiety. It helps me feel like calm, collected. It feels like safe, happy self-care moment. Even my yearbook quote actually was about tea. My yearbook quote was actually tea one sugar tar because I just thought it was important to let every single person know in my school how I take my tea. So my next essential in life are these. Now these are my AirPods. I think these are the AirPod Pros. They're noise cancelling ones. I love these ones. Having the squidgy ends, I can't imagine going back to like the, the hard end ones because one, the comfort of these for me is just another level. Like it really is just like another level level of comfort. Like the squidgy end, it just sits in my ear, it's cozy. I'll have them if I'm working, I'll edit with AirPods in. If I'm walking, I'll have AirPods in. If I'm driving, I won't, but like everything else, I always just have them in, always, because I feel like with me, music is such a big impact on my emotions, how I'm feeling. I will always play music depending on how I'm feeling. So therefore, like, if I'm in, like, a bit of a rubbish mood, I'll put on a sad playlist. If I'm in a great mood, I'll put on, like, a fun playlist. Or if I'm in a mood where I want to act like I'm in a movie, I'll put on, like, a villain movie playlist, and I'll just walk down the street feeling like I'm a villain. And it's really fun. It's just so fun as well to sit here and do this. It's probably not very good for them, though. <laughs> So this next essential is technically two, but it's also just one in my eyes because it always comes as a package. And this is moisturizing and tanning. I think a lot of people know that I love Palmer's as a moisturizer and my go-to tan is always filtered by Molly May. I think Palmer's moisturizer, my mum's always used it. Like as long as I can remember, my mum used it. And, and then when I started moisturizing, I don't know when, I think it was like 10, 12, around that when I was like, I wanna start moisturizing. And I have only ever, ever, use Palmer's cocoa butter. This is definitely something I could not live without. Palmer's is just like one of those products I have always, always used and swear by and I've like got so many of my friends hooked on Palmer's. By Molly May, this is for Spritz Me. This is the goat for me at this point of tan because it's so natural. You literally just do a few sprays. It's so easy to apply and like I feel like I could not do anything else. If I just sprayed a bit of this, I'd be happy to go out. This product, we're calling it one, is like the one product I could not live without. Like out of everything else, this is it. So obviously I've already spoken about music, but this next one is Beyonce's album Lemonade, and this is the vinyl. Fun fact, I actually don't own a, a vinyl player, a recorder, whatever it's called, I don't own that. This album for me genuinely came to find my personality, my thinking, everything. Like this album, I can't even explain how much this album genuinely changed my life. Obviously I've been messaging in the album, like there's so much importance, political stuff, like there's just a lot in this album and every song makes me feel a different way and if I could only listen to one album for the rest of my life it would be the Lemonade album. And also Beyonce in itself, I couldn't live without Beyonce, so we'll, we'll call that the same thing there. <laughs> The next thing I can't live about is this. Now this is the Dior Savage aftershave. Savage, Savage, I don't actually know how to say it and everyone tells me I say it wrong. I don't think I do. The reason I actually wear this aftershave, fun fact, is that I saw the advert years ago that I saw with Johnny Depp in, which advertised this aftershave. 
and I love Johnny Depp. I've always loved Johnny Depp. I love Pirates of the Caribbean. I love every film he's done actually. Like, he, like Johnny Depp is my favorite actor, like by far. Like he is just a master of acting. Like it's just insane. Like he's just like a shapeshifter. Anyway, off topic. So I saw his advert and I was like, and then for Christmas I asked for this aftershave because I never had like really like a nice aftershave or anything. And I was like, you know what? Like I know it's Dior and whatever, but like Johnny Depp advertises it. I want it. So I asked my mom and dad for this for Christmas. Thankfully got it and I've never had or worn another aftershave since. I will get this for every birthday, every Christmas because I just cycle through it. Like It's my baby, it's the one I always wear every day. It's one I've worn for years and years. So the next thing on this essentials list is this. And this is peanut butter. Excuse it being half eaten. Although is it half eaten? Yeah, there's like a quarter left of a smell. I always go for crunchy, but I'll still take smooth. But like peanut butter, oh my gosh. Like peanut butter on toast, peanut butter sandwiches, peanut butter and ice cream, peanut butter chocolate. Like I am obsessed with peanut butter. Like this is definitely my favorite like spread sauce. I can't live out it. When there's no peanut butter in my house, I just I had to go out and get some, otherwise I'll just cry. You know what? It'd be rude not to. Mm. Okay, so the next thing I can't live without are these. These are my crystals. Crystals are just like something which I use all the time. Like, I am obsessed with crystals, but I'm not that person who knows all the names and everything. I bought them off for specific reasons. I have got the cards of what they all mean in, in like a drawer. But like, this one's like, I know it's like a crystal wand, and these ones are like quite, quite powerful. This is quite a spiritual thing, so I feel like if you're like into crystals and spiritual stuff and manifestation and all of that, you're kind of probably going to think I'm a weirdo and just started playing with rocks. I always have them all, always on my bedroom windowsill or in my bedside table next to me, something like next to me. I also use them for like manifesting. I use them for like to meditate with. I use them on like special nights and moons and whatever. Sounds crazy. If you're not into it, you don't understand it. I do sound insane. It was actually my dad who got me into crystals because he's very good at like Reiki, spirituality stuff. Actually, fun fact, when we were growing up, my dad's always believed in manifestation. And growing up, he like if me and my brothers were on like a drive somewhere or needed to go somewhere, he would always ask us to believe and kind of know that there is going to be a parking space near to the place we need to go to. He would do that, and nine out of ten times there would always be one. Uh, so my dad got us into like manifesting and spirituality stuff quite young, which I'm so glad about and grateful for because I feel like I've manifested a lot of my life and like things that have happened and. People and everything, I've manifested like a lot. So my crystals are definitely something I could not live without. This next one is cups and it's just drinking water. But like, I can't express, I mean obviously it's obvious you can't live without water. But I think I take it to another level at this point. Like this is for filter by Molly Makeup and having a cup which I can drink water from is such a big thing. Like I am always, like this does not leave my side. This is with me in my car. This is with me when I'm working, filming, walking somewhere. This is never not with me. As soon as it's empty, I go to the first place I can to fill it up. And it's just a really toxic cycle at this point because my bladder, my bladder has been going through it with the amount I drink because obviously it's so important to drink. Like, and my skin, I feel like is really grateful for it. My body feels nice for it. My bladder, She's struggling. My bladder is struggling. I will be honest, she's having a hard time with all the water. I, however, love it. Trust me, if you're watching this and you're like, oh, I need to drink more water, get a cup like this. I promise you, something about it, you'll just start drinking more. You'll just find yourself drinking for the sake of it. <laughs> we find ourselves at the end of the list now. And the final thing is this. This is my laptop. It is a MacBook Air, but it's, it's quite the old one. I mean, it's, got, it's still got my light up Apple logo here. So it is quite an old one, but this has probably my life on it. <laughs> like pictures, videos, editing, music, messages, secrets, notes, everything. My life is on here and I don't use it often. I only typically wow. use it now for editing. I, everything that's on my phone, I delete everything on my phone. Messages, pay, I delete everything. I don't like having a lot on my phone, but it all goes to here, which is always with me. And fun fact, what I see what my profile picture is, it's a penguin. So that wraps up the 10 things that I cannot live without. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you soon. Um, quick little outro there. That video obviously was 10 things that I can't live without. It was inspired by the GQ videos because I love watching the GQ ones. Like I love Taryn Egerton's one. Um, Noah Schnapp did one. Like a lot of people do that and I love watching them. So I thought it'd be fun to do it. And yeah, there are 10 things I can't live without. I hope you enjoyed it. If you more, let me know. 
But apart from that, thank you very much for watching. I will see you very soon with another video. Thank you.